Hello everyone, welcome to this video and welcome to this channel. My name is Courtney if you are new here and today I am going to be doing a week in the life of an epic teacher or a English teacher in South Korea. So I live in the Jalabukdo area if you are new here and I teach at five different schools, five different elementary schools, fifth and sixth grade. So today I don't have a travel school, I have a main school. If you're interested in knowing what that means, I just need a Q&A video answering a bunch of different questions. So I'll link that above if you want to check out what a real travel school is. I also wanted to say really quickly that I read some of you guys' comments recently and I just want to say thank you from the bottom of my heart. Your kind words mean so, so much to me and some of you guys who have been following me for a while or a year now teaching here, I just want to say that again, your kind words, your support, it means so much. I view you guys as friends and just coming along on this journey. So thank you so much for that. You're the absolute best and let's go ahead and go. <music> I just got home after going to a cafe after work and I'm sorry I didn't get to record too too much today but I worked with my sixth graders for five different periods today and honestly I spent a lot of time working on summer camp plans. I'm spending a lot of time doing that so that I can finalize the budget and get all the lesson plans done and turned in so that I can give that to my handler or my co-teacher and I am doing two summer camps at two different schools so I need to get that all sorted and sent out hopefully by tomorrow or by the end of this week at the very least. But for right now, we are just going to relax, we are going to eat dinner, go to bed, and then tomorrow I am waking up and I'm going to one of my travel schools, I'm going to teach three fifth grade classes, I'm gonna hop on the bus, go back to my main school, and then finish my last sixth grade class at that school. I just got to my second school of the day and I have one sixth grade class and I finished up three fifth grade classes earlier today and then I'm going to get working on camp. And literally just a cup full of ice because it is extremely hot and getting into rainy season, but hot rainy season. All right, so I'm getting ready to leave for my Wednesday school now and I teach both fifth and sixth grade at that school, two classes each, so let's go. finished with my sixth grade class and my two fifth grade classes so I just have one more and then I will be going to lunch. All right so today we had a really fun activity in class specifically for my fifth graders and we did these really cute Instagram posts. This is what it looks like so I wanted to share it with you guys but basically I took this from CoreShare. CoreShare is a website for native English teachers in Korea to share their resources and things that they have created in the past and previously to help teachers out now in their lesson planning. So this is a post that was made for my chapter by another teacher, but I just took it and then I tailored it to my own classroom. Uh, so I had to change quite a few things, but it was a very cute idea. And so basically we are learning about different foods, the names of the foods and describing them. So if they are salty or sweet or savory, things along those lines. So there's just a little Instagram sheet as you can tell. And then basically what I did is I had them write their name. So this is just my example. So the name and then the picture of whatever food we learned and so this is another example just different pictures so this is bibimbap so then we would write bibimbap and then also liked by and then I told them to check this with a friend so be able to talk to each other and then like this and then describe it of what the food is like and what it tastes like so this is what we worked on today in fifth grade and I thought it was really fun and a good activity and I always like to try and be as creative as possible sometimes it's difficult to work in a classroom and it's a travel school with a lot of different resources for cutting out papers and gluing things down. It's a lot for a 
40 minute class period, which is how long elementary school classes are. So I was really thankful that another teacher had come up with this idea and formatted a lot of things. So I just created my own PPT to go along with it and explain the assignment to the students, but it was really fun and I enjoyed it. So it was a good day. Hello everyone, so it is Thursday and so I'm going to one of my travel schools and I'm going to be teaching sixth grade. I have four different classes for that. I have to top up my T-Money card, which you have to do with cash here. So I'm going to go to the GS25, do that, get on the bus, go to school. And then like I said, my four sixth grade classes today. So let's go. All right, so I just got to school and it is very, very hot outside. And so what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to log in. I'm going to pull up the textbook, go over all the audio parts that I can't listen to on my laptop. Um, just, I think a Windows and a Mac difference there. And so I'm gonna go through, listen to that, make sure I have the textbook down pat because some of it is in Korean directions for the kids, which makes sense. But for me, I have to translate that. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to pull up just my PPT and materials, go over it before class and make sure everything is smooth. So I just finished up with my sixth grade classes. So I had five different sixth grade classes today and we just had a review game for chapters one and two because it is coming towards the end of the year. So we're just reviewing at the school. So I just finished that up. I'm actually going to leave directly from here. I'm going to go home and get my stuff and go to the bus station because from here I am leaving to go to Seoul for this weekend. And I'm gonna take you guys along with me. 